This morning, scientists' worst fears came true when the Yellowstone supervolcano, the heart of Yellowstone National Geopark, erupted with a force not seen in decades. Yellowstone National Park is home to many of the largest known volcanic eruptions on the planet, and scientists have new research that helps pinpoint where in the park it's erupting. A study of the Yellowstone Caldera, which sits at the heart of the park's namesake, and is one of the world's largest volcanic systems, has identified how much magma is currently beneath the caldera and how long it will take for it to reach the point of eruption. Previous studies using seismology have found that a large reservoir of magma lies beneath the caldera. However, the new study, which uses a method known as magnetolurics that tracks the electrical conductivity of magma, finds something different. Right now, there are several separate areas where magma is stored in Yellowstone, rather than having one large reservoir. Bennington added that his team knows that the percentage of magma stored in the reservoir is actually quite high. That means there is a reservoir that is capable of producing an eruption in the near future. Their research suggests that the northeastern part of Yellowstone is due to erupt again this time. The researchers also determined when the next eruption will occur in the park. Using magnetoteluric data, they found that the heat source that keeps Yellowstone's shallower magma reservoirs active is in the northeastern part of the park.